a little higher power, there's the root cap cells. There's a meristem. I, I like 4x power because you can see everything. But if you really want to get up and post, there, there's 40. See, that's one cell. That's the nucleus. And the red dot is the nucleolus. All right? And there's the meristem area. Now, if you go up a little bit higher, you notice the cells are what? Elongated, right? You're in the zone of elongation up the root. Okay, now number two is in your textbook. This is the will. And it shows the origin of a secondary root. See how it's connected to the uh, vascular steel here? So there's the direct vascular connection. It erupts right through the cortex, pushes aside the epidermis, and we have direct vascular connection between this root and a secondary root. All right, number three is dicot root. How do you know it is a root? One vascular steel. How do you know it's a dicot? There's no pith. Some of these green cells here are xylem. They're not mature yet. But we have a tetrarch. Four arms of xylem. And the little bitty cells that are green, that's the flaw. Very ill-defined pericycle and endodermis. By the way, all that purple stuff are starch grains in the parenchyma cells. Number four, monocot root. How do you know it's a root? One vascular steel. I know it's a monocot. We got a pith. Okay. Uh, how about a little bit higher power? Okay. So there's the epidermis. A lot of parenchyma, 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 and then that. What's that? The endodermis, right? And then this would be all pericycle here, about uh, four rows. And then that's phloem. And then we have xylem. That's a big xylem vessel. So we've got a row of xylem, phloem, xylem, phloem, xylem, they alternate, and you can see. Uh, there's the endodermis, xylem, phloem, xylem, phloem, xylem. And this, even though it's stained red, it's uh, still pith. Uh, Smilax is a vine, carrion flower, and it's, uh, they call it a sclerenchymatous pith. Well, what is sclerenchyma? It's got lignin in it, so it stains red. A little unusual. Most pith is not like that. I don't have any slides for number five, the tilia root. That's a nice woody root. Take a quickie look at it. Number six, the colia stem. Also in your book, we got leaves. We got axillary buds. And there's no stem cap. There's a stem tip meristem. Any dark lines you see would be what? Procambium. The hairs here are technically called trichomes. Not hairs. Okay. Number seven, dicot stem, you steal. Uh, how do you know it's a stem? We got multiple vascular bundles. How do we know it's a dicot? There is a pith in the middle. Okay. And the bundle cap is sclerenchyma, even though it's stained green, it's sclerenchyma. And that's sclerenchyma, and then, you know, we have the uh, the xylem here, and then the phloem here. I've, the phloem here, and the xylem internal. Xylem is to the inside. Xylem, phloem, pith. Okay, monocot stem, number eight, corn. How do you know it is a monocot? Uh, how do you know it's a stem? Multiple vascular bundles are all over. How do you know it's a monocot? They're scattered. There's no order. Okay? So if we look at it, Actually, this is cholinchoma right here. There's some cholinchoma right under the epidermis, okay? But here's the parenchyma. See how uh, one parenchyma cell can get almost as big as a vascular bundle. And if we go higher power on the vascular bundle, uh, okay, so here's the cholinchoma. There's the epidermis. There's, the, uh, there's cholinchoma here. Uh, parenchyma, parenchyma. See the cytoplasm? Here's sclerenchyma. It's stained red, but it's sclerenchyma. Look at the flow. Okay, stained green. See, see a nucleus? That's probably a companion cell right there. And on your lab, I might say find the protoxylum, so it's ripped. The protoxylum stops elongating, but the stem continues to grow, so it's ripped. Uh, the xylem that matures later, vessel, vessel, would be what? Metaxylem. So protoxylum, metaxylem, and a bunch of other metaxylem cells, okay, in a vascular bundle. 
Okay, then we're going to look at steel types, I guess. Uh, this would be number nine. It is the stem of a wisp burn. And so, see how it radiates outward? Does xylem do? No pith. Uh, so that would be a uh, actinosteel. Okay. Number 10 is like a podium rhizomer stem. And here, the xylem is in plates, thin plates that can be ranched. So this would be a plectosteel. Okay, that is number 10.